Hello everyone. This is the first of a two-part series, two short videos that I'll be doing discussing the governing body's response to the COVID situation within the Watchtower community. I want to begin by sharing with you an excerpt from governing body update number seven. I'm going to be sharing with you a short clip and I want you to pay attention because you are going to be looking on an interview with a young lady and take a note of the questions that she's asked and the way that she answers the questions. She was arrested and is under investigation for some crimes. And I want you to observe, to pay very keen attention to how this young lady defended her faith. Pay close attention because this is something that Jehovah's Witnesses could actually learn for. See how she defended her faith and see if you can learn some things from her about how you can stand up and defend your faith. You are also going to see how, in all of this, how she maintained her integrity. So, without further ado, I give you and ask you, give you the clip and ask you to pay keen attention. Another way we can show practical wisdom is by learning from the good examples of other young ones. You know, some young people are in prison for their faith. Others are awaiting trial. What helps them to cope? You'll find out in this interview with Sister Daria Dulova from Russia. When she was just 18, her home was raided and the government started a criminal investigation against her and her mom. They raided our home on August 1st, 2018. My feelings at the time, probably both fear and shock. They told my mom that I needed to be rescued from the mire. Otherwise, I would have no future, no job, no family, nothing. They opened a criminal case against me and I was found guilty. Mom was given a two-year conditional sentence and I received one year. After a short time, they started another criminal case against me. And now these court proceedings are ongoing. I was afraid they would send my mom and me to prison. So, to somehow a lady fear, I tried to spend more time in personal study. That way, even if they did imprison me, I would have more to meditate on. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 17 encouraged me. It says, Take your position, stand still, and see the salvation of Jehovah in your behalf. That means not just entrusting Jehovah with your problems, but it also means, you know, waiting for Him to act. At the convention that took place shortly before we were raided, there was an interesting point made about how humans are actually 80% of water. So when they took me into the interrogation room, I sat down and looked at the interrogator. And in my mind, I drew a dotted line and filled him up 80% with water. And when he started saying things like, Dasha, you've got no future, all I saw was him filling up with water. <laughs> in short, his threats didn't bother me. <laughs> Because I felt Jehovah's support during those trials, I'm no longer afraid to face new ones. I am sure that Jehovah will support me. His care may not come in a way that I expect, but I know that it will always be in a way that glorifies Him. And that's a guarantee that everything will be okay for me. No, based on my preamble, did you get the things that I told you to look out for? Because I didn't get it. I watched the video four times. 
and I am yet to get the things that I said to you. I told you it was going to be an interview. Did you see an interview? What were the questions that she was asked in the interview? Because I saw no interview. I saw a young lady seated and relating a story. Maybe she was asked the questions, but they chose not to show the interviewer and the questions that she's being asked. So maybe it was, in fact, an interview, as Samuel Heard said. Also, did you see this young lady? Did you see any display of her defending her faith? Defending her faith as an example for other Jehovah's Witnesses to see? Because I watched the video four times looking out for the part where she defended her faith and I could not find it. But I did the preamble the way I did based on what Samuel Heard said, hoping that I would not prejudice your minds so that you too would not see it. I wanted you to see it. And so I forgot about what I saw and just presented to you a preamble based on what Heard said. These were his words at the end of the clip. Isn't it encouraging to see how Darya has kept her integrity and defended her faith? Well, I've enjoyed talking to you, young ones, but I'd like to talk to the rest of the family for a moment. No, ladies and gentlemen, is it me or is it Samuel Heard who's losing it? What's going on with these men? What's going on with Samuel Heard? Where did he see the young lady? defending her faith. There was an interesting point made about how humans are actually 80% of water. So when they took me into the interrogation room, I sat down and looked at the interrogator. And in my mind, I drew a dotted line and filled him up 80% with water. And ladies and gentlemen, would you care to share with me how this is a COVID update. I presented the link to the full video in the description. And maybe what you can glean from it is that he is saying to young people, this is a difficult time, but do not be discouraged. And so he showed them a non-COVID related situation to demonstrate to them that, hey, this young lady in a difficult situation defended her faith. And in my mind, I drew a dotted line and filled him up 80% with water. So maybe you can defend your faith against COVID. I'm, I'm just trying to understand what is the point? What's the point? And filled him up 80% with water. Be strong and courageous, even though persons are dying around you. Because you see, in his presentation, he made no mention of the deaths. But we're seeing as I showed in the previous video from the article from avoidjw.org that they have announced to Jehovah's Witnesses that there are some 5,000 Jehovah's Witnesses have died. What has the Watchtower said beyond 
mentioning the Jehovah's Witnesses who have died and expressing their regrets. Is there any message in all of this for Jehovah's Witnesses? Join me in the next video. Thanks for watching this one and have yourselves a wonderful day. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.